So I have never seen the movie Titanic and I don't intend on seeing the movie Titanic unless Leonardo DiCaprio actually would paint me naked. Hmm. Well, I settled for a seven day cruise along the Norwegian fjords with my mother, so it'll just have to do. So, due to unforeseen circumstances, my mother's partner, or commonly known as my father, was unable to make this trip. So, boom, slap bang, a ticket to a all paid for, all inclusive cruise to, and I quote my father, to babysit your mother. So buckle up bitches, this is gonna be my biggest video yet. So this lucky lady here had the company of me for the next seven days on this big boat across the North Sea. Say hi to the 20 people who are gonna watch this, Mum. Hi. Can I go now? Yes, you can. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That's my mum, everybody. So what gear did you take with you, I hear you asking me. Do I actually hear you asking me? I took my trusty Pentax K1000, which is my first camera, my one and only, love of my life, the one that I turned to. But I also took three expired rolls of Fuji Superior, Extra 400. I want to travel light as I already have this camera, my Sony ZV E10. And this is kind of like the first intentional video for this YouTube channel where I had been abroad as well. So I put so much unnecessary pressure on myself having to kind of like look after three babies. That's the two cameras and my mum. So after a long ass coach trip all the way down to Southampton, we were able to board the PO cruise ship, the Iona. I'll never forget getting to that port and then entering Iona from the rear. It was just an experience. <laughs> oh, she was a big one. She was, she was a big one, actually. <laughs> I'm actually getting kicked out now. So I guess I'll just record the rest of this back at my house. Okay, so let's talk about the expired Fuji Superior Extra 400. A colleague of mine had heard that I was into film photography and found these three Fuji rolls in his house and gifted them to me. And hiding the fact that he probably could have made 50 pounds from selling these online, I just decided that he wanted them to go to a better place, a happy place, and for them to be used correctly by an experienced photographer. So with my Norway trip coming up and Fuji being very well known for their greeny colours, I thought this trip was a perfect opportunity to lose my Fuji virginity. Or my Fuginity. Yeah? I thought that was a good one. <laughs> So due to my pea-sized brain and my inexperience with expired film, the majority of these photographs came out trash. So this video is kind of not about the photos anymore. I've spent the last couple of months 
in Adobe Lightroom trying to learn how to edit and and correct these but I think this film model is 10 plus years old and everything's just so underexposed and the colours are trash and I've just done the best I could. So to put time into perspective, we weren't actually setting foot in Norway for another 48 hours. So we had time to kill, exploring the boat and just, uh, just hanging out basically. As you can see, the photographs have kind of just <laughs> like they're they're incredibly grainy. There's some like really green dot grain on it that as soon as I tried to get rid of it, it just blurred the whole photograph. So every single photograph is covered in this grain. So first stop is Stavanger and this is like the fourth largest city in Norway and it is commonly known as like the oil capital of Norway. It's actually got an incredibly interesting history and unfortunately this is not the National Geographic so I'm not here to give you history lessons. <laughs> The main city is just like any other city to me, but the thing that really caught my eye is what they call Old Stavanger, which is the original like wood houses and it's like an old town that this city was built around. And that's pretty much where I spent most of my time shooting photographs. I've got my muff covering the lens. I can't believe what this place actually looks like. One of the coolest little places that I've ever been to. Like it, it's, it was just, it just set the tone perfectly for the rest of this trip.
Mr. Van Gogh, me and Mother Bear actually did a 27 kilometer round bike ride, which was really, really fascinating and really, really interesting. I didn't have much time to sort of stop and take photographs and take it all in, but I did prove to the group of old people that I was the fastest on a bike. What are you doing here? They say, no, 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 that's where I'm recording. That's where I'm recording. Say hello. Oh, what was that? All right, go. We'll do something fun. Get out of my way. So the idea of cruises is to sort of travel throughout the night and then by the morning you arrive at your destination at the port and then you go off and do your adventure. But day four was the first um, the first run-in with the actual fjord. So we got up before sunrise to sit and enjoy watching us sail in to our next stop. still haven't discovered words yet to describe the feeling of these sites and what I experienced so you know I, I've, I filmed as much as I could but this footage just does not do it justice whatsoever. This experience on this holiday is something that that I won't forget and I, I didn't expect for things to be as beautiful as it was but we move on to where we docked which was Alden which is the cutest little place. And I believe it has like a population of, I think on Google it said 479. That's tiny, that's like the same amount of students in my high school that I went to. But it gives you the idea of how quiet and open this place was. We actually did some research of this area and we hiked up to a viewpoint called Haran. I'm, I'm, I'm probably butchering that as well. We had glorious sun all day.
the little viewpoint where this little house was just seemed so beautiful and I could have stayed there and shot photographs all day and I'm so sad that they didn't come out as good as they did in my head but I think that's all part of photography analog photography because this is what you gotta do you just gotta work for your art and I love it it's great <laughs> After this viewpoint, we actually walked back down into Alden and just started to explore through the villages. And I had done research on Google that there are churches, so I wanted to go visit these churches. Here in Alden, with my old mother. <laughs> during the process of taking this picture I really wanted this picture to come out better than it actually did I love the houses that it goes from big medium to small but you know it's the expired role I don't know what this smudge is in the sky I don't know like it's I don't know I just loved it I just absolutely loved it Honestly, this video and photographs do not do this place justice. If there is a woman stupid enough out there to marry me, we are getting married in this church. It's hands down, decision made already. So yay, day five is here. And Mother Dearest, after a kayaking adventure in the morning, decided to stay on the ship with an endless supply of Mai Tais and the ship's hot tubs and leave me to go and explore by myself. <laughs> So this is Hell Sit. Hell Sit? Hell Sit. Hell Silt. Hell Silt. Wait, what was my line? So apparently, Hell Silt is a popular place for movie locations. And with recent rumors that Tom Cruise filmed a scene for Mission Impossible there, driving a bike off a cliff. But more importantly, I heard of a really cool guy shooting analog photography there and filming for a YouTube video. That guy must have been a legend. Mouth. 
Halle. seem really big on churches and they're beautiful churches so naturally I just gravitated towards the church to shoot. Pictures. I went to the church to shoot pictures. I was done with my day then. I, I moseyed on back to go and catch up with mother and then play catch up with the old drinking. So our last day in Norway is here and we are in a city called Hogsund now. It was filled with a bunch of characters and we decided to pretty much just enjoy our last day in Norway. So we just had a little stroll, walked around, went to a few cafes, just tried to take in a little bit of the culture. And I realized I probably had about 30 exposures left. So I was on a mission to shoot film.
So this is now day four, no, fourth stop in a city called, I think it's called housing. I'm looking to my mum for Hogsund and it's day six. It's day five because we've got a sailing day tomorrow where we do nothing. What? Day seven tomorrow. No, it isn't because we don't, we land on the, I've shot less than I've expected. So there's going to be a lot more shots from this city. So enjoy. It is not day seven. <laughs> It's not day seven tomorrow. It is day seven, the day we land in Southampton. I'm not arguing on camera. She's not arguing on camera, it's because she's wrong. Think about day one. Yeah, day one was... Oh yeah. I'm not good after that. This is day seven. Looking back at this footage now, I really, really wish I had some decent colour film stock, even if it was just a basic Kodak film roll, because the residential areas, some of the houses are just beautiful colours. Like I love pastel colours, and they were just houses in a row, just all different colours. And unfortunately, they didn't come out on some of these shots. At this point in my life, I was considering getting a cat and this little shit made me get one when I got back. So thanks to you, I now get terrorized regularly. because it just was the nicest cafe ever. The owner was so accommodating and I had a pastry there and I didn't take any photographs or any like documentation of this pastry, but it honestly was the greatest thing I've ever put in my mouth.
that's it. Day seven now, which was spent all day at sea, heading across back to Southampton. Day seven was incredibly boring and you know, it kind of gave me time to reflect on my thoughts of cruises. And granted, I am incredibly lucky to have been able to experience this and to have spent this quality time with my mum. However, in hindsight, I would not go on a cruise again. It is not how I like to travel. Something which I find kind of difficult is how when these ships dock, especially at these little villages like Olden with the population of 400, there are literally thousands of British people just coming off a ship. And I feel like we are just infesting this beautiful little village and this pristine green, beautiful countryside image and then all of a sudden there is just thousands of English people just wandering through the streets. I can see why it appeals to other people but unfortunately for my lifestyle it, it, wouldn't, it wouldn't be my chosen holiday. So obviously I need to talk about the film role. Fuji Superior Extra 400 and I'm not going to talk about it because this was an expired film role and I am heartbroken that a lot of these photographs did not come out good enough for me to print off and give to my mother as a gift and that's not anybody else's fault but my own because I just didn't understand how expired this film was I didn't know how to shoot expired film I'm very thankful I managed to visit this beautiful country and I've managed to make a beautiful video in this country but uh, I can't help but just feel a little bit sad that I f***ed it up. So please go easy on me because I know that the photographs are bad. I know that the touching up is bad, but it's the best that I can do. And what is important to me that I spent that time learning it. So my conclusion is go visit Norway. What a beautiful country this is. If you're gonna shoot expired film, do your research, find out the year it expired, learn what you need to do to get the best out of that role for depending on how long it, it has expired. And three, take backup film. Take a couple of roles or cheap ones, whatever, because things go wrong. You know, I probably would have shot a hell of a lot more. I wish I shot more. And I guess for live your life, go enjoy yourself, do summer, I don't know. Just go be happy, that's it. That's got nothing to do with this video, but that's just my bit of advice to end this video. I guess I'll see you on the next trip. Seriously, if you've made it this far in the video, please comment in the comments because I will give you so much love. Thank you for watching so much.